Hi everyone, my name is Arthi Karpelli. I'm an incoming freshman at the University of Chicago. This summer I worked with Dr. Kyle Trout and Zee Hong on extracting scientific information from free text articles. With over 2.5 million publications produced every year, it is becoming increasingly difficult for researchers to locate important data in publications. Furthermore, due to the exponential growth of publications annually, a researcher may have to read dozens or hundreds of publications just to have a rough idea of the current state-of-the-art technology in their field. And even after such a process, they may still miss key information included in those publications. For this reason, we explored automatic and scalable methods to process vast quantities of data from research papers and to extract important facts from them, such as the relationships between different polymers and compounds. Our primary contributions include building a relation extraction model without the need of a named entity tagger and evaluating the model based on runtime, hyperparameters for the word embedding algorithms, and scalability. For our project, we used two different datasets, modeled here, pictured on the left, a noun dataset consisting of 8,000 sentences, and on the right, another smaller polymer dataset consisting of 114 sentences. Usually, it's hard to generalize NLP models among different domains because language is domain-specific. We wanted to show that our model was built from a baseline for extracting noun relations, and it can also be applicable to a dataset from a completely different field. In the noun dataset, we identified 10 different relationships that are possible between two different nouns in a sentence. One example of this relationship is cause and effect. In our polymer dataset, we focused on three different relationships between polymers. One such relationship could be identified as one word being the full name of the polymer, and another as the polymer's acronym or label. For our models, we used a dependency parser provided by Spacey, which is a natural language processing toolkit, and customized it to fit our dataset needs. A dependency parser analyzes the grammatical structure of a sentence. We used a dependency parser because they are useful for extracting relationships between words using solely their parts of speech, rather than their word type, as a named entity tagger would. We did not use a named entity tagger as they are costly and they would take more time to run. Here you can see how we adapted Spacey's default NLP pipeline by disabling the named entity tagger, abbreviated here as NER, and not adding any extra features after. So for example, let's say our sentence is the one at the top here. After pushing the sentence through our model, the model correctly predicted that the pair would be the word's configuration elements. The model also correctly predicted the component whole relationship between the words. The elements are component to the whole configuration. The next slide focuses on how we customized our models. In total, we had three models. The first model with the noun dataset had no customizations. The second model used the Polymer dataset with one customization. The third model used the Polymer dataset with two customizations. The first way we customized our Polymer dataset model was through tokenization. Tokenization is useful as it splits words or phrases into tokens, which allows the NLP model to better understand semantic relationships between words. Another method for customization we used for the third model was training custom word embeddings. Word embeddings are vector representations of words that capture something about their meaning. We use custom word embeddings for the third model because this will allow the model to have familiarity with the vocabulary used in the dataset. To train our word embeddings, we use SIBO and SkipGram, which are two popular word embedding algorithms. The precision and recall in F1 scores of both Model 1 and Model 2 are shown in the bottom table. Both F1 scores are similar, proving that our baseline model can be applied to another dataset from a different domain. Here are the results for our third model, with custom tokenization and custom word embeddings. We changed various hyperparameters while training our word embeddings and found that the default SIBO word embeddings gave us the highest F1 score of about 0.67. We also evaluated Model 3 based on general runtime on the CPU, GPU, and performance over 15 epochs, with SIBO training and skip gram training. We found that Spacey is not optimized for GPU acceleration, and SIBO with default parameters outperformed SkipGram. To test scalability, we used Parcel to create parallel programs composed of Python functions and ran our model with a larger dataset on a set number of nodes concurrently. For this test, we used a larger Polymer dataset consisting of 300,000 sentences provided by the Macromolecules Journal and retrained our word embeddings with SIBO default parameters. When scaling across 16 nodes, we were able to reach a throughput of 590 sentences per second. Natural language processors for relation extraction commonly consist of five stages, tokenization, part of speech tagging, named entity recognition, phrase parsing, and information extraction. With our customization, we were able to train and deploy a successful model without named entity recognition. Our model's best result for identifying polymer names and relations reaches an F1 score of 0.671, outperforming the 0.617 achieved by the Chem Data Extractor, a state-of-the-art domain-specific toolkit available in the field of chemistry. Going forward, we hope that structured and scalable data extraction from publications will be able to process the vast amounts of data and be beneficial for many applications, such as discovering new molecular pathways and understanding molecular relationships between polymers and other materials. Thank you.